So should Christian women use artificial hair, attachments, all of those things? In this video, I am going to be sharing with you all some reasons that I think that as a Christian woman, you should not be using any form of attachments, artificial hair in your hair. First and foremost, I just want to define attachments. I am referring to any type of hairstyle that requires requires additional hair that is not your own in order to complete the style so i remember when i was in high school like i was almost done getting ready for graduation and i needed to style my hair and at the time i remember someone the person who wanted to style my hair the style that i wanted the person told me that i didn't have enough hair for that style here are some reasons that I think that as Christian women, we should not be using any type of attachments or um, artificial hair in our hair. So the first reason is that attachments competes with God's glory. So the Bible tells us that a woman's hair is her glory. And who gave that glory? It's God who gave that glory. Now I have a video where I talk about you know that scripture all in its own and I'll make sure to link it in the description box below. But basically God is a giver of the glory and attachments, artificial hair, they look like the real thing, but they're not, they are counterfeit. And so when you are attaching these things to your hair, you are covering up this glory that God has given unto you and your glory. You know, something that is supposed to be a glory is supposed to glow. It's supposed to be allowed to grow, glow. You know, there's a scripture that says when you have a light, you know, do you have a light and hide it under a bushel? When you have a light in the dark room, are you going to go and hide that light? No, you're going to bring that light into the dark room because you want the room to be to be lighted um, so that you can see what you're doing or see the people that perhaps are in that room. And so our hair is a light. Our hair is a glory. It's supposed to glow. And so when you attach all of these things to your hair, you are burying this light under a bushel, if you will. You're hiding your glory. And the Bible says also that God will not give his glory to anyone. And so now you are in essence giving your glory to the attachment. You are, you are, burying your glory and you're giving it to something else i truly believe that artificial hair it competes with god's original creation god has created our hair and the bible tells us in genesis 1 31 that god after he had created the, the whole universe you know he stood back and he said it's everything he had created is very good so you know we live in a society where people like to say oh you have good hair and you have bad hair and it's like no everything that god created is very good that's what the scripture says and so your hair is very very good and so when you attach these things to your hair you are contributing to counterfeit and i believe that god is unhappy with that artificial hair it competes with the glory of god and god will not share his glory with anyone he will not compete with his glory you know he's not going to you know give his glory to anybody and so that is the first reason that i believe that christian women or women in general should not use artificial hair the second reason is that attachments create laziness so attachments has a false sense of convenience. Oh, I'm going to put my hair in some extensions. I'm going to put it in a wig. I'm going to put it in braids and I'm going to leave my hair alone. Now, that leaving of the hair alone leads to laziness. A lot of times I've come across women who have had, you know, attachments in their hair and they've left their hair in for months and they haven't touched their hair and by the time that you know they take their hair out first of all their hair is smelling really bad it looks really bad and then they're wondering why isn't my hair growing why isn't my hair flourishing and it's like well you keep burying this hair under all of the wigs and all of the weaves and all of these things and your hair is not even able to breathe you're not able to take care of this hair you're not able to nurture this hair and you just keep Keep burying it and burying it and burying it and it's really not producing much good fruit 
for your hair um and so yeah artificial hair attachment it creates this laziness it makes you to just be very lazy about taking care of your hair the third reason that i believe that christian women or all women should not use artificial hair in their hair is because it contributes to breakage so after you have left your hair in the attachment for such a long time what ends up happening is that your hair becomes dry because all of those months that your hair is buried under the weaves and the braids and all of those things your hair gets dry because you don't have easy access to take care of it to moisturize it and to hydrate it and so it gets dry and guess what dry hair breaks dry hair will break now when you go outside like if you've been like you know in the woods or something or just like being outside like now that it's summer and it's so hot out if you pick up a stick you know like a, a piece of stick um from a tree you know that that is dry if you break it it breaks easily because why it is dry and so the more your hair gets dry the easier it is for it to break and so you're wondering well why is my hair breaking why is my hair breaking and it's because you have been putting your hair in all of these attachments for so long and it is causing this breakage of your hair and another thing is a lot of those styles you know when people do it they do it really tight and so then you find out that your edges and your nape are all breaking and then you're wondering why is my hair breaking well it's because you've been putting your hair in all of these extensions and all of these uh, attachments and artificial hair and that is causing your hair to break off the next reason that i believe that as christian women and women all women should not wear artificial hair or attachments or extensions and all of those things is because it conjures up lies um i can't tell you how many times i have seen a woman and i'm sitting there and wondering is that her hair or is that not her hair like i, I can't figure it out i just i don't know i'm like is that her hair oh maybe that's her hair no, that's not her hair. And the Bible tells us that as Christians, let your yea be yea and your nay be nay. That means let your yes be yes and your no be no. So if it's a no, let it be no. If it's a yes, let it be yes. Let not people be confused about what, what you have on your head. When you use artificial hair, you are conjuring up a lie because it is not yours. This is not yours. You're giving off this image that this hair is yours, but really it is not. And, you know, the Bible tells us about in the book of Revelation, it says that liars, you know, and, 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 and anything that maketh a lie will not partake in the kingdom of God. And so I pray that the Lord would deliver us from all of these lies especially when it comes to our hair. He will help us to be able to really, truly embrace this hair that he's given unto us because I believe that God was very intentional. You know, there's a scripture that says that all of the hair on our heads are numbered. I mean, think about it. All of the hair on our heads are numbered. That means that our hair is not an afterthought. It was part of God's grand plan, part of our creation. That if God has a knowledge of every single piece of it. I don't know how many hair I have on my head. I have no idea, but God does. And that shows us how much he cares about the hair that he has given onto us and how much we need to care about taking care of it. And you know what? If, if there's a style that you want to do and you don't have enough hair for it, then maybe that's not the style that you need to do. Because another point is that we need to be satisfied with the hair that we have. The minute we want to add on, there's a sense of dissatisfaction with what we have. That I see this style and I don't have enough hair for it. Then I don't need to do that style. I need to look for something else. Or I can do that style with my own hair. Make it a little bit different. It doesn't have to be exactly like that style. And so let us be satisfied with the hair that God has given us. And let us embrace it. And let us enjoy the hair that God has given unto us. A lot of us, we don't even enjoy our hair because we go from one extension to one set of braids to one weave to one wig. We're not enjoying our hair. And what's the point of having hair and you're not enjoying it? The argument that someone can also have is, well, you know, that is my form of protective styling those things are not protecting your hair they're rather burying your hair they're burying your glory allow your hair to breathe our hair needs to have air and it needs to 
he needs to see the sun let us unveil all of these things you know i have a brand called unveiling the veil natural hair care and the purpose is to unveil encourage women to unveil their hair of the wigs and the weaves and all of those things that our hair has been buried under and begin to take care of our hair begin to get to the root of the problems that we face and to to see to nurture our hair and to begin to see our hair flourishing to the glory of god you don't need to attach anything to your hair for your hair to be long by the grace of god my hair is flourishing and i don't use any kind of attachment or weaves or extensions or, i don't use any of those things and you are not an exception you don't need those things you really don't you don't need them your hair can flourish your hair can get longer when you pay more attention to it when you nurture your hair when you're moisturizing and hydrating and you know uh, 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 uh preserving your ends and deep conditioning your hair when you're doing all of these things your hair will grow you will retain length i promise you so I pray that this video has been a blessing to you and I pray that it inspires you to rid yourself of all of those things. And I tell you that the Lord will help you. The Lord will help you. You know, some of you will give the excuse of, well, I have so many things going on in my life. You know, I am a wife and I am a mom and perhaps I'm in school and I have so many things going on. Like I can't be bothered with my hair. And I get it. I'm, I'm a married woman too. I'm a mother too. I'm a professional. I work full time. I do other things like I have so many things on my plate, but I can tell you that the Lord has been helping me with my hair. Is it easy? It is certainly not easy, but as long as I prioritize my hair and as long as I involve God in the whole equation, I tell you that his grace has been sufficient. And I want to encourage you that that same grace is sufficient for you. And I pray that you are inspired by this video and that you are able to unveil your hair of all of those things and trust God, the one who created your hair, to help you to fully embrace the hair and to fully take care of it so that you can see the glory, your hair begin to glow, glow, glow to the glory of God. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I look forward to bringing you more on our content. Bye-bye for now.